We want to cure Parkinson. We want to cure Alzheimer. We want to cure multiple sclerosis. A lot of diseases are associated with the brain, stroke, Alzheimer, but also HIV and other virus infections. I want to find treatments, I want to prevent diseases, but I also love animals. It always was very difficult for me to inflict suffering on mice and rats. And I was very happy when I found out that there is new ways of doing things. The new technologies of stem cells allow us to grow mini brains. So we can work on human brains instead of animal brains. And we get relevant results faster at a lower price. That's, I think, is a very important message. Mini brains are tiny, tiny little balls of cells, the size of the eye of a housefly. But they are representing all of the important cell types of the human brain. People would be surprised how little we are testing chemicals in day-to-day -day products. For example, in the US over the last 30 years, almost 30,000 chemicals have been brought to the market and only one out of eight has any toxicological data because it's far too expensive, takes too long, and the legislation until now has not been demanding this type of testing. We can really do fantastic work now, which is substituting for animal research. Whenever there is such an opportunity, if the technology is there, which lends itself to be used, we should use it.